Ford Bronco, blazing a new trail of excitement. I'm here at Ford's Canadian headquarters to have a look at the Bronco Sport, which is coming out later this year. Now this is the original Bronco, a 1976 version. And this is not. This is the 2021 Bronco Sport, and we have to differentiate between them because there's going to be two Broncos. This is not the Bronco that everybody's making a fuss about right now. That's the one that's going to compete with Jeep, the Bronco two-door, Bronco four-door, and it is gonna come out in the spring of 2021. This is the Bronco Sport. It's more SUV than off-road warrior, although there is one that will be able to take you where you wanna go. We'll be seeing this one come out in showrooms later in 2020. It's going to come in four trim levels, the base, the big bend, the outer banks, and the badlands, and it's going to start at $32,199. Now the base, big bend, and outer banks use a 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine, that's Ford speak for turbocharged, that's going to make 181 horsepower and 190 foot-pounds of torque. The Badlands exclusively is going to use a 2-liter EcoBoost engine, making 245 horsepower, 275 foot-pounds of torque. There's no manual here, everything gets an 8-speed automatic, and everything is 4x4. If those engines sound familiar, it's because they're also used in the Ford Escape. The Bronco Sport rides on a platform derived from the Escape. So we're talking more about an everyday SUV driver as opposed to something that you're going to take into the fabulous outdoors. However, the Badlands is more worthy than you'd think. We are not going to get a chance to drive it today, unfortunately. This is just a static look-see. But we've learned a little bit more about the Badlands and what it can do when you need it to go off the pavement. So here are some of the things that make the Badlands bad. For one thing, it's got that larger engine. Every Bronco Sport is a 4x4, but the Badlands comes with a twin clutch differential, and that can put power to the left or the right wheel as much as 100%. You can also lock the differentials. All of them have a drive mode selector known as GOAT for goes over any terrain. That was actually used on the original Bronco. Most of them have five. The Badlands has two extra for rock crawl and mud and ruts. And when you put it into rock crawl, you get a front camera that comes on, so you can see where you're going. You don't need a spotter. And all Bronco Sport models have some really cool touches for taking this thing outdoors. It's got a flip-up glass so you can throw stuff in. It's got large grab handles so you can hang up your gear, hang up your wet towels or your bathing suit. It's got a bottle opener for when you're sitting around the campfire. There's an accessory work table you can get to sit in the back, and when you've got the gate up, you've got directional floodlights so you can see what you're doing. Ford will sell you a tent so you can sleep on the top of your Bronco, and you can put lots of gear in. As for cargo space, you can put two mountain bikes in the back and close the hatch. So the Bronco Sport comes out later in 2020, and the Bronco, the one we really want to drive, we have to wait until next spring for that. For Driving.ca, I'm Jill McIntosh, and for more Bronco news and information, don't forget to follow Driving.ca on Instagram and Twitter.